Remember to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update from First Cry Parenting. 32 weeks pregnancy symptoms and growth. At 32 weeks of pregnancy, you're in the third trimester of pregnancy. Your delivery date is getting closer and you must be excited to meet your little one. Your baby's growth at week 32 of pregnancy. Your baby is going to be tapping and wriggling rather than his usual bouncing around. Your baby's growth rate will be high now, as he might put on around 50% of his weight between now and delivery. By this time, the baby's lungs are fully developed, and in case of premature delivery, there's a high chance of the baby's survival. What is the size of the baby? At 32 weeks pregnant, a baby weighs between 1.5 and 2 kilograms and is about 35 centimeters from head to foot. Common bodily changes. You may notice swelling in your feet and ankles due to excess water retention in those regions. Buy comfortable free size shoes if your feet hurt. Your nipples will get considerably darker as your breasts ready themselves for your newborn. Your breasts may start leaking, which signifies that they are preparing for nursing once your baby is out. Wear padded water absorbent bras if you have to go out. Your vagina prepares for delivery by preparing a thick mucus layer around the walls to keep them lubricated. Keep sanitary napkins handy symptoms at 32 weeks of pregnancy number one feeling faint due to low blood sugar number two hemorrhoids number three constipation number four dry and itchy skin number five heartburn belly at 32 weeks of pregnancy at 32 weeks your baby will drop into the pelvic cavity in preparation for birth, making your pregnancy bump a lot lower in height than earlier. Ultrasound scan at 32 weeks of pregnancy. At the 32nd week, an ultrasound scan is important as it can tell you about fetal growth as well as its placement. What to eat? Eat iron-rich foods like spinach, broccoli, red meat, and legumes. You can ask your doctor for multivitamin supplements if your diet does not cover the nutritional requirements for the same. Foods like dairy, leafy vegetables and cereal are great sources of calcium, so make sure you include them in your diet. Have frequent smaller meals and try to eat less meat and a lot more fresh vegetables and fruits, whole grains, and nuts. Tips and care. Keep a set of nappies, blankets, and pillows ready for your little one. Keep a few sanitary napkins in the hospital bag, as you will definitely need to use them after delivery. Continue with light exercises and yoga after consulting your doctor. You will soon welcome your baby into this world, until then, take good care of yourself, eat well and stay happy.